So I want to give you a couple tips to help you win your VA claim. The first one is to familiarize yourself with 38 CFR Part 4, the Schedule for Rating Disabilities. The VA Schedule for Rating Disabilities is the law that's used to determine the severity of service connection and pretty much all VA laws. First, you want to compare your symptoms to the law and make sure your condition's rateable. If not, move on. No need to be working on a claim that the VA is not going to rate you for. Like, literally, that's a waste of time. Secondly, you need to establish service connection for your disability. you got to figure out how you're going to service connect it. Third thing you need to do is educate yourself about the combined ratings table so you have some kind of idea of what your overall rating will be when you win your claim. I recommend filing a mental health claim if you don't already have a mental health rating. You're a disabled veteran living in pain. You got depression and things like that. You got mental health issues. No different than me. This is where your strategy comes into play because if you have a 30% rating, would you rather work on two or three small disabilities that'll move you from like 30 to 50% or would you rather go from 30% to 80 and jump 50 points? This is how much a 70% mental health rating will change the outcome of your claim. It's huge. 38 CFR Part 4, the Schedule for Rating Disabilities, is the law, but VA raters use something different. So I suggest you take a little peek at that so you know what a VA rater might do when they're looking at your claim. It's called the M21-1 Adjudication Procedures Manual. This manual is for Veterans Benefits Administration employees who develop and adjudicate U.S. veterans' disability claims. So most people are already service connected for some disabilities. So let's talk about increases and secondary service connection claims. To file a claim for an increase, you need to prove that your disability got worse. That needs to be documented. You need documented medical evidence. All right, combat Craig, I'm ready to file my claim for an increase here. I think I might have enough. Do you think it's going to be enough? Um, I'll tell you the answer right now. If you're asking yourself, hmm, is this enough? I'm looking at my hand. It's not enough. You need to be looking at your medical evidence and be like, yes, I prove this. I prove this. I studied the law. Here's the uh, rating criteria. Yes, this is enough medical evidence. I can win with this. You're really going to have to look at the rating criteria and see where you're at, what you're currently rated at, what your symptoms are. And then if you need to go from like 30% to 70%, you need to match your symptoms up with the rating criteria and do you even qualify for 70%? If that's what you're shooting for, great, or 100%. Do you meet the rating criteria at those higher levels? If you do, you need medical evidence, but you already got that because we covered that already, right? If you can't look at your medical evidence and see it, like, ah, this deserves to go from 30 to 70%. If you can't see it, neither is the VA. So get more. Make it clear. It needs to be clear to a layman veteran like me and you. If we can see it, then the VA can see it. If you can't see it, you need to make more complaints. There's a couple ways to do this. Log into your My Healthy Vet account and start complaining to your primary care doctor through direct messaging. Ouch, it hurts, it hurts, range of motion sucks, whatever. You want to keep complaining until you get to see a doctor. It helps to have current complaints in your VA medical records because guess what? That's the first place the VA rater is going to go look. Another thing you can do is get a doctor to fill out a disability benefits questionnaire for you. This is literally a checklist of your symptoms getting worse. The check boxes match up to the Code of Federal Regulations almost verbatim. DBQs are huge. You can have any qualified medical professional fill out the DBQ for you. It could be a VA doctor, a private doctor. If you're seeking an increase for a mental health condition, that's a different kind of doctor. You're, you're going to need a board-certified psychologist or a board-certified psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, they give you the pills. Psychologist talks 
it's probably going to be a psychologist, but either of them will work. So your primary care doctor cannot give you a diagnosis and fill out a DBQ for mental health conditions. The end goal here is for you to look at all the positive medical evidence you have, match that up against any negative medical evidence that they're definitely going to be using against you and say, yep, this is enough. That is when you file your claim. That strategy, that's my boot camp. That's what I talk about. I preach it and I teach it. You need a doctor that can help you with a Nexus letter. Check out my med team. Here's an email address. Hit them up. Tell them you need a Nexus.